Hey guys, welcome back to GuitarAnimal.com. Glad to have you back. Hope you're enjoying the videos. Uh, I'm Trent, and today I'm going to show you a song by Led Zeppelin called Cashmere. A lot of people enjoy this song. Uh, this song was originally recorded with a open tuning. What that means is we tune the guitar differently than we normally tune it. Uh, the tuning that he used was called Dad Gad. And what that means is if you started with your sixth string, it would have been tuned D, A, D, G, A, D, as you go from the bass notes to the treble notes. Um, you know, you can tune it that way if you want. I arranged it for drop D tuning because one, it's a lot easier to get to. Two, I think that it really does um, the song justice. It does sound really good in drop D. And three, with drop D, you can get back to standard tuning very quickly. So you could go to a different song. You wouldn't have to you know, be locked into one song all week if you only have one guitar. So the tuning that I'm using is just drop D. That's tuning the sixth string down to D. The rest of the guitar is tuned standard. So it would be E on the first string, B on the second, G on your third, D on the fourth, and A on your fifth. And again, drop D, D on the sixth string. That is dropping it two frets. So we do not tune it up, we tune it down to D. It gives you a sound like this. So your low end, you're a little bit lower than normal. The first part of this song is going to be played on the second, I'm sorry, the third string through the sixth string. And we're going to be doing, again, a pedal tone type riff where we're going to constantly go back to that open D string. It's going to be played, normally you would play uh, something like, arrangement like this would be called octaves, where we would be playing something on the third string, something on the fifth string, and not really hearing the fourth string. We'd be muting it. In this case, the fourth string is open D. We do want to hear it. So you have to be careful of your placement of your little finger, your small finger, on the D note on the fifth fret of the fifth string. Make sure that you do not let it rest and silence the fourth string or you won't get the full effect of the song. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a three note, for lack of a better term, chord, where we're hearing D, D, and the open, or the second fret A there on the third string. We hit those together. And that's going to be the pulse of the chord, and then we're going to hit the open bass note D. So it's going to be like this. So again, what I'm holding is second fret of the third string, fifth fret of the fifth string, open fourth string for the chord section. And I silence it between the two, so a short rest between the two. And then a open bass note on the D. You can palm mute that D, so it sounds a little thumpier, so you get a bright chord, and then a thump on the bass note. So that's going to be our first chord for the song. Then we move up to the third fret of the third string. Again, keeping the fifth string, fifth fret constant for the second chord. Think of these more as intervals than chords. We're constantly changing the note on the third string. Bass note, D. Then the fourth fret of the third string. Fifth fret. And finally, seventh fret. Now, usually we're going to pulse these in two groups of three. Until we get to the seventh fret, we're going to do it once. Then loop back around to the two. And we'll do the two once. We're going to do the seventh fret once, and we're going to do the second fret once, like this. And then loop it around. So it sounds like this together. Again, what you want to do is you want to stop the video here, go back and loop it. If you go to our website, we have a looper function so you can set loop points. So it will automatically do this for you, but you want to maybe slow it down, go over this a number of times, try to get that feel. One, two, three, one, two, three, boom, on the low note. And rehearse it over and over again. You'll notice I am changing the finger that I'm holding the D note, the fifth fret of the fifth string with. I'm going in little finger, 
ring finger, middle finger, and then I keep middle finger teamed up with your ring finger for the fives and then index and little. There's a number of ways you could do this. I like doing it this way. The index finger is just inching its way up the third string. Be sure to keep that fourth string open and ringing. You want to hear that. That's an open D note. It's going to play well with the octave D that we've tuned our sixth string to. Again, look at it over and over again with a loop function and rehearse it slowly and then gradually speed it up. Hope you enjoyed that. Tune in for part two and part three coming up.